Hello again, my name is Lenny and welcome to my world of model aircraft. And on this video, I'm going to be lifting all of the masking off of this little bugger here. Let's get on with it. In fact, I'll just take it off and cry and you can watch me cry. Yeah, that's the best bit. Right, see you in a bit. This is going to take me for bloody ever, this. Oh, bloody hell. Just taking a break. I'm still at it. Got 15 minutes. Halfway there. Back in a bit. Well, um, I wasn't expecting this. Um, <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> Bust on my magnificent citizens. Go on, have a look. Bloody hell. Ooh. Right, what's happened is I've got a really nice point along there and everything is in. Well, yeah, everything's in. Bloody hell. Everything's cool, everything's exactly as I wanted it. And I, I don't mean to. I don't know if, if this is coming out, you know, that I'm blowing hot air out my ass or what but uh, do you know what? I'm just really really happy because I've spent a lot of time masking I mean, it took about three hours to mask it all but it's been done properly and I know guys out there they don't like masking and but if you're new to this masking lark all right take it from me take your time do it properly because if you do, you'll get a result like this. And again, I'm not trying to talk out my ass, but it's just, just really, really happy with it. And I didn't expect it to come out like this. Um, and not having to do any um, like spraying to cover like um, some overspray, but no, oh, dogs wellies, chuffed. I have to pardon my enthusiasm, I'm afraid. Right. Uh, it's now Monday, Monday morning. Um, just getting some stuff sorted out before I have to do other stuff. Uh, last night, I managed to do all the dackling. Uh, there wasn't an awful lot to it, to be honest. Um, so that was done. Um, the paint, well, I'm just painting the, the propeller, the blades now. Well, I'll say paint, they are painting them, just clearing them now. Uh, just ready for the, um, to stick some of the decals on them. Once they're on, give another coat of clear. Bob's your uncle, Fanny, your brothers, whatever. And it's sorted. So, what I'll do is, let me just turn, well, I'll finish drying these off first, and I'll turn the camera around. And go have a look, see what I've done to the decals. Well, we'll have a look. Well, right. There you go, that's part of the deckling. Um, I was quite surprised, to be honest, um, with the deckles from Tamir, because uh, they are normally quite thick. These were a little-ish, but not as bad as they were on the Spitfire. Uh, and they have bedded down really, really well. And if I can just move it, just still slightly a bit tacky-ish. The clear that I've been putting on. But um, yeah, hopefully, it's like picking out that star and bar. Mm, I can't get my glasses. Yeah. Well, anyway, if you can't see it, um, they have bedded down quite well. Um, I might just nick over that with uh, a scalpel blade. And it has, yeah, the decal did tear, which was there. But I've got a paint called Midnight Blue. Whether it's going to be anything near it or not, I don't know, but I shall give it a bash anyway, just to make it a bit more universal. Um, but yeah, apart from that, everything's done. Um, all the bays are done for the undercarriage. I've cleared the spinner and all the rest of it. Like I said, all I'm going to do is put the decals on the, on the propeller blades, um, do the smods and bits and bobs and sods. Um, and then I'm going to go through the weathering process with it all. I'm not too sure 
how far I'm going to take this because, well, I've never done a bare metal finish before. So it'll be a case of me getting on the old uh, internet, looking at period pictures, um, and seeing how or how much on the weathering side that these planes got. Um, first impressions, I think, pretty you know, pretty grubby. I think, I suppose, I don't know. I have to find out, won't I? Yeah. Right. Well, that's it. That's it for the Declan stage, and there wasn't an awful lot of them, really. I mean, I've left a few stencils out, but they're only like niggly, tiny, peeny bits along here with fuselage, and that was it. That's all that's there. So, with a better luck, I might have this nipped in the bud, either today or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Um, and I don't know how far this, how much of this, this is going to be on this video. So, all I'm going to do now. I'm not going to tape anything else on this, um, so if you want to turn off, turn off. Um, and yeah, that's as far as I've got so far, so hopefully within a couple of hours I might have a bit more progress. Okay. All right, just before I forget, um, the actual um, livery that this is going to be is, obviously it's the red tails, but it's from um, Lieutenant or Lieutenant Robert W. Williams of the 100th Fighter Squadron 332nd fighter group. Okay, so that's uh, Duchess Arlene. Cool. Right. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna nip it in the head now, mate. Um, because I'm gonna plow with it. Just thinking about it. And the next video that you'll see for the P51 will be the final reveal. Yeah. So, I've got my coffee. It's not tea. No, it's coffee. We've got a bit of a thing going on at the minute. A bit of sniffs. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to crack on with this. And yeah, the next video you'll see on the P51 will be the final reveal. Hopefully today. Maybe tomorrow. Or maybe Wednesday. I'm not too sure. Anyway. Let me crack on with this, because it's nearly done. I'm really, really quite happy with this. Yeah. Yeah, it's still coming through these panels. Yeah. Right. I'm going to sod off and get stuff done-ish, whatever. Okay, so I shall see you guys on the next video. Okay, until then, take care. Happy modelling, keep yourself safe, and yeah, have fun, okay? Take it easy, see you in the next video.